Hello Virgo! Here we are! I'm Michelle B and I'm going to be doing a reading about whether or not you should stay or go from a relationship. In my opinion, if you're wondering whether or not you should keep it up, you probably already know the answer to that. But sometimes we need an outside perspective on what's going on. Sometimes we need a little kick in the butt. <laughs> and sometimes we need a little bit of comfort. Anyway, um, if you resonated with the title of the video, then there's a good chance that there's something in it, in this, in this uh, reading that's good advice for you. But otherwise, I am going to get a pull a card real quick to talk about what the scenario is act actually is, so you whether, know whether or not this is this is your story, whether or not this reading is for you. So here we go, Virgo. I want that one. King of Cups, but he's in reverse. <laughs> King of Cups in reverse. This guy is a little bit out of touch with his emotions. He has a really hard time being vulnerable. And this is really inter interesting. He's got a dr drinking problem. This is very, like, very specific, very specific download that I got from this card. So, like, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> this guy... I'm speaking for feminine, but if you're masculine, please just switch the roles, okay? If you if you identify as masculine, please switch the roles, okay? So this is a person that um, when they are sober and straight-laced, they're very cold and they don't express themselves. I mean, you guys get along fine because, you know, you're no-nonsense. Virgos are like, they, they want to be just straightforward and just have a... They, they, some of them don't mind being really emotional and touchy feely, but for the most part, they like, they like to put on their mask and be like, yes, everything's just like, you know, ch -ch 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 square corners, you know, but when they start drinking, then they get really squishy and like their real feelings start coming out. What's really going on in their minds starts coming out and you're like, wow, this is, this is like Jekyll and Hyde kind of energy. This is weird, and it's like red flag, red flag, red flag. What's up with this person? That they are two different people. And you see his cup there? Yeah. Two different people, depending on their level of sobriety, okay? It's pretty specific, isn't it, Virgo? I wonder how many of you are gonna connect with this. Now, if you're wondering, like, if Virgo's, Virgo's looking at this situation, they can look at it from two different perspectives. Virgo can look at this and be like, it ain't right, I got a red flag, out, right? But there's enough of an emotional connection with this person that Virgo's like, I, I don't know if I wanna go, okay? Now you're, now you're, you're in trouble, <laughs> all right? Now you're in trouble. Let's find out what, what your trajectory is if you stay. Where are we going if you stay? If you stay in the connection. The fool in reverse. The fool in reverse. I feel like this, the, 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 the sense of whether or not you're in reality, that yeah, the con your connection to reality is going to be um, challenged. It's like you'll lose your footing. You see how, you see how the, the fool is walking along the edge of a cliff and he's like, because he's divinely guided, he's, he's, he's prancing essentially on the edge of this cliff safely because the divine is guiding him along the way. But in the reverse, I see, I see, um, he's like, he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. So you're like, you're like so caught up in this other person's vibration of disconnection that you start to pick that up because you know we end up the, the law of affinity i think that's what it's called where and this isn't talking about the metaphysical vibrational stuff where like whatever vib vibration that other person is at you go to be with them and your vibe ends up evening out so you bring them a lot of stability and they make you feel a little bit out of touch with reality so the fool in reverse is the shadow aspects of the fool. 
So it's just really out of touch, kind of floundering around, not really feeling like you're moving in any specific direction. Okay, so that's not good for Virgo. Virgo does not like that at all. <laughs> does not feel good. What if you go? What if you part ways? Where are you gonna be at? What's, what's gonna be happening? A 10 of swords in reverse. This is just heartbreak. It's gonna hurt. Because for some reason, you guys had something to learn together. You, you, you two had a journey to take together. You had some things to learn from each other. Mm. There are things that you needed to teach this other person, and there are things that they needed to teach you. It's very much an opposites attract kind of situation where this other person, it, but I mean, that's really interesting that the King of Cups is a Scorpio, right? King of Cups, or Scorpio and Virgo do very well together. So like, yeah, if, even if this person isn't a Scorpio, they probably have a strong Scorpio placement or they act like a Scorpio. You, sometimes you don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, there's like, there were some deep lessons, deep cuts, deep wounds, and also deep lessons. Whoa, that happened, and I don't know why. But maybe someday I will learn why. Maybe someday I'll figure out how I grew from this, uh, how I grew from this connection. That is if you, you know, if you let it go and, and move on. It's going to hurt for a little while, right? I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm like, yeah, you're going to find somebody else and you're going to live happily ever after you go, girl. I'm not going to be like that. It's going to hurt for a little while. You're going to feel like this is just like one last betrayal and I don't know if I could ever pick myself up. Okay, that's straight up how you're going to feel for a while. But if we don't put, put so much weight on the pain, it eventually eases and it goes away. And they, I, there are so many resources on, free resources on YouTube for those pep talks. I've had to do them in breakups before that really just like tore my heart out, you know. They're there for you to be able to say, you know, I, my future is worth this sacrifice. My control over my own life, my own dignity, what I'm doing with myself me feeling like I'm uh, intentional in, in my connections is worth it. Let's look at some advice real quick before we close out because I'm running out of time here. King of Swords. It's interesting. There was one other reading. Maybe it, I can't remember which one it was before that ended with the King of Swords. It was just a lot of, um, yeah, it's just, I think it was Gemini both ruled by Mercury, but this is an Aquarius card. But essentially, it's like you need to, this is interesting, we've got the, the Scorpio and the Aquarius guys both being here. But in the face of somebody that doesn't really know what they want, like this is the way, like they don't know what they want, really. They're just like, I just don't, like, I'm just going along with the flow and I'm doing whatever and I don't they're not really paying attention to what they're doing to the people around them you have to take control of the situation you have to take control of your own responsibility to yourself and say like okay I'm not happy with it I can't quite put my finger on it but there's something wrong here with the way that they behave, the way it flips back and forth. It's just red flag. I don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. I feel disconnected. I feel out of control for myself. And so I'm taking responsibility for myself and deciding what to do. I'm making the decision. The sword is, the sword cut decides. Psst. That's what decide, the root of the word decide is to cut. And so you make the decision. Okay, the king, a king is responsible for themselves. And they say, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do for me. This is what I'm going to do for my children. This is what I'm going to do for my community. And they're just like, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to take responsibility for myself. And I need you to take responsibility for yourself. And let that, let it, let it go. Let it happen as it is. And let, let yourself be in grief for a little while over it. It's okay. And then it passes. And then you get over it. And then you move on. And then who knows? I'm going to let it go here. I wish you the best, Virgo, and I love you.